Hey guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. It is cold and wintry here in Buffalo. The snow is falling so pretty. It has inspired me to do a little bit of winter decorating. So today I'm gonna to take you along as I add some winter touches to my coffee bar and my kitchen dining area, making it all cozy for winter. I cannot wait to take you along to show you how it turns out. And if you are new here to my channel, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking, and crafting here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click that subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, you know what time it is. Grab yourself a yummy hot cocoa or tea, sit back, relax, and let's head into the kitchen to get started. I'm gonna start in the kitchen dining area and for the centerpiece, I'm using this beautiful black basket tray and I'm going to add this arrangement that I made using picks that I had on my tree in the dining room. So all of the decor that I'm using today is decor that I had on hand using some Christmas stuff that I could also use for winter decor. So I just took these picks off of the tree. They are very wintry since I had the flock tree in there and made this arrangement very quickly. Then I added some candlesticks. These candlesticks are from Hobby Lobby and my favorite flameless taper candle Candles. Then I went back downstairs to my basement where I store all of my decor. I grabbed this bowl and then did a little bit more digging and I found these large pine cones in one of my bins. So I'm going to add that to the centerpiece as well. And it's very pretty and wintry. I'm going to keep the play settings very simple, adding some chargers. These chargers I found at Dollar Tree a while ago. Every time I see them, I always grab a few. And I like how the contrast of the chargers go with the round tray, then adding some plates and some napkins. Simple because we do use these plates and then I just pop them in the dishwasher, add new plates on. So I'm not even adding salad plates or anything either. Adding some cloth napkins that I put in some napkin rings keeping it very simple and wintry. Next up, I'm going to style the top of this cabinet. I went down and shopped the decor that I had stored in my basement. I found this large basket tray that I love that I added between both of the lamps. And on top of that, I added my scale. I love my scale. I've had it for years. I bring it up and down and I haven't used it in a while. So I brought it up and then I'm adding some winter candle rings that I got at Hobby Lobby that I used at Christmas. I'm gonna add that to the scale along with some flameless candles. I have a hard time parting with my decor, so I keep a lot of it. I have shelving in my basement that I keep a lot of my decor on, but the fun part is, is going down to my basement and shopping my decor when I'm looking to swap things out or try new things. So I haven't used my scale in a while, so it's been lots of fun to bring that back up. I love the way it looks here. And then here are the stems that I used also in the arrangement on my table. I got these last year at Michael's. They sold me a ton of these stems for like $10. Like I shared it even on my Instagram stories too. It was like just piles of these stems for $10. It was the best deal ever. So I used a bunch of them on my flock tree in my dining room. So I'm taking a few that I had left and I'm putting them around the lamps. I think it looks really pretty. And then I'm adding just one pine cone here. So now I am going back to the table. I wanted to add just a small runner and I love this mini runner. I got it from Pillow Panels. If it's still available, I'll link it below, but I just love the size of it because it's not a full length runner. So I'm going to add that underneath the tray just for a little bit more texture on the table. And on the other side of the kitchen dining area, I had a small pencil tree up for Christmas. I took all of the ornaments off and I just still love that twinkle in the winter. So I kept the tree up and then the table there, I just put a few little wintry touches underneath the table as well. 
Moving on to my coffee bar. Now I did a little switcheroo. I moved the coffee maker to the other side because this plug was driving me nuts and one of those little outlet covers wasn't working for that. So I finally, the light bulb finally went off after years to just swap out where the coffee maker was. So now I could hide the plug with this tea towel ladder. And then I just chopped my basement and a lot of these pieces actually came out of my hut to my dining room. I'm gonna start with a pitcher and then I'm using a few Ray Dunn pieces, but I don't wanna do the lettering. So I just turn it around. So if you have Ray Dunn pieces that you have and you don't wanna do the lettering, just turn it around like this. And then next I'm going to have a bottom of a tear tray. So if you have tear trays that you're not using, just take it apart and then you can use the trays separately. So I'm gonna add this part to the top here along with some bowls in a plate and then I use the other piece of that this tier tray actually in my kitchen that's what I have my wax warmer on so I love that one because it has a little legs on it this was actually the top part so I'm going to add the bowls to this part and then I'm also going to add a little bit of greenery I love this greenery it comes from Hobby Lobby and I love it because it's not like screaming spring or summer it's just a really nice year round kind of greenery and it's perfect for this winter decor. And then I'm also going to add in a really pretty luminary with a little snowflake on it too with a tea light. So you get that little subtle warm and cozy glow as well. This shelving is actually just the shelving in my cabinet doors. Last year I took my cabinet doors off and got this open shelving. Thanks to the idea from my friend Liz at Traditions by the Seasons who inspired me to do it. And it's been so much fun to decorate this open shelving seasonally. So if you're looking for some open shelving in your kitchen, see if you can take your cabinet doors off to get open shelving as well. Moving on to the next shelf. Again, I just shopped my home. I have this canister along with this shaker and then a white cottage stoneware colander. Then I'm adding some plates and then on top of the plates, just for a little bit more height, I had a mini pie dish that I'm adding on top of the plates. To the bottom shelf, I'm adding this buffalo check frame for a little pop of a buffalo check. And then I have this really pretty cake stand that I'm going to add along with some mugs. I also am gonna add a little bit of this greenery. Again, this is the greenery from Hobby Lobby. I just cut it into pieces. So I added that into this hobnail vase and then, then I'm gonna add another hobnail vase next to that. I'm gonna add a cream and sugar. I'm also gonna add a few other little winter touches. Another one of those snowflake luminaries. I got them several years ago, I think at Walmart. And then I have this really cute book stack from Birchling by Jennifer. It says warm winter wishes that I'm gonna to add to the shelf as well. Below the shelving, I'm going to add this snowflake tea towel that I got a couple years ago at Hobby Lobby after Christmas, really cheap. I actually forgot I had it. And then when I was looking for some things for winter decor, I stumbled upon it. So 
that was nice. I layered that onto the tea towel ladder and then I added my canisters that I got a couple years ago at Kirkland's. I'm gonna add some K-cups into one and some mini marshmallows in the other one. I added this cute little tree that I've had for years. On top of my Keurig, I'm going to add a little basket that I like to put my um, tea bags in. So now I'm just gonna add my K-cups into the one that I had on hand and that makes it really easy to just grab a K-cup when you wanna make a cup of coffee. Uh, then I'm also gonna add my little mini marshmallows to the other one for hot cocoa. I have the hot cocoa K-Cups underneath in the cabinet. And if you've ever tried the Aldi hot cocoa K-Cups, they're really, really good. So I have those stored below the cabinet and then you could just add the little mini, mini marshmallows that I have in the canister. And here are the Aldi Hot Cocoa K Cups that I was just talking about. They're really good, but again, I store those underneath the cabinet because we don't use those every day. Adding some tea bags to the basket, so I have those handy. And then I found underneath the cabinet some coffee syrups. I don't use those all the time, but I just added those right there as well, just because they had a little spot for them. So that's how this area turned out. I just absolutely love how this space looks. The coffee sign is actually a double-sided coffee sign. It's from Crumpets Home Decor. I will add a link for that below. I had to cut it down a little bit so it could fit, but I just really love how it looks in the space too. Okay, you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it gave you some decorating inspo for your home as well. Give it a big thumbs up if you did, and let me know in the comments below what you enjoyed the most. And for daily decor and DIY inspo, make sure you're following me over on Facebook or Instagram at Mother Time. Thank you so much for joining me here today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.